What's up everybody? My name is DJ Carlo Atendido, two-time three-style DJ champion, and welcome back to another weekly DJ tutorial. This week I'm gonna teach you my best settings for Recordbox DJ and Serato. Yo, stop fronting here and use your head. Let's go. <laughs> Now I get a lot of questions of people asking me how to make your controller more responsive or how to activate the vinyl break effect or how to make your scratching more sharp and precise and a lot of those questions can be answered by simply adjusting your software settings and in this video we're going to adjust three things. One is your buffer size slash latency, two is your start slash stop knob and three is your crossfader curve. Now ideally you want your buffer size to be under 10 ms and what buffer size controls is the responsiveness of your controller and your DJ software. So the lower the setting, the better it's going to be and the more responsive it's going to be. But keep in mind that if it's too low, problems may happen such as audio glitching out. So ideally we want the buffer size to be somewhere in the middle between 1 and 10. And so in this one, let's choose 5 ms. To see the settings menu on Recordbox DJ, click on the upper right tool icon. And now let's go to audio settings, then go to buffer size, and adjust the slider to around 5 ms. To see the settings menu on Serato, click on the upper right tool icon, then click audio, then locate the USB buffer size, and now bring the slider to 5 ms, and click apply. Now that we made our controllers more responsive, let's work on activating our vinyl break effect. On the record box DJ settings, go to controller, then scroll down until you see vinyl speed adjust, and now bring the touch slash break knobs of decks 1, 3, and 2, 4 to the 1 o'clock position. On the Serato settings menu, click on DJ preferences and locate breaking. Then bring the stop time knob to the 9 o'clock position. Now with that out of the way, let's now make sure that our cuts are as sharp as possible as they can be. On the controller section, click on mixer, then locate the crossfader curve section. And now bring the knob all the way to the right side. On the Serato settings menu, click on mixer, then locate the crossfader curve area and now bring the knob all the way to the right side as well. And that's it. Now let me know which setting for you helped you the most and if you guys found this video useful, please let me know in the comment section down below and you can also let me know by liking this video, subscribing, turning on bell notifications, stay tuned for more future tutorial content. Anyway, thank you so much for watching guys and I'll see you all in the next one.